Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And you can see us. Do you notice something different? <laughs> welcome Our face. to the first video oh, podcast. If you're on good. YouTube, you're seeing this. If you're on the podcast app, yeah. deal with it. The podcast people um, are confused. Yeah, they're like... What are you talking about? We can't see anything but the little IR logo, <laughs> which it's is pretty, fantastic. It's a pretty logo, so that works. Um, <laughs> helps. So, welcome everybody yeah. to our first video podcast. We're going to talk a lot about updates today. We'll right. get to that towards the end of the episode. Yeah, we'll we do want to do our regular episode first. Sure. Um, sure. So, that being said, uh, we do go into normally our Patreon. Right. Talk a little bit about that really quick. I want to extend an invite. For all of you. For all of you. You love uh, people. To be a part of this. Um, this isn't something that you, you need to do or anything like that. You don't have to do this. We're going to yeah. continue making this show regardless of, of whether people donate or anything like that. We just right. want to hopefully do some bigger and better things in the future. Yeah, Patreon some, is hopefully the way to do that. Yeah, some fun stuff. Uh, if we can fund the channel, um, the channel itself with the channel, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, and this is all stuff we've said before. Um, oh, yeah. But there, there are some cool things that we've thought about that we want to do. And that just feels like the the engine to get there. It does. You know? So we right. hope you guys will check it out. Again, don't feel pressured. Right. But if you do feel like uh, you'd like to donate or you feel like you should for whatever reason, um, <laughs> we nice. encourage you to do so. Yeah. And cool. we do have some very cool tier goals there. Uh, you can check all of that out on the Patreon. Yeah. Uh, so some of them involve just hanging out with us, yeah. which we would love to hang out with you I guys, hope you so. think would be fun. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. So give a look. Give a yeah. look. Um, that out of the way, we move into our card of the day segment. I love the segment. I, I say it a lot. Segment. We yeah. love a lot of things about the show, but this especially <laughs> is interesting. Uh, we just get so many random cards. Geez. Skate zombies or whatever was shout out as an all star. This one, but all right, guys, here about. we go. Three, two, one. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is a great one, actually. Do you sure. want to take this one? Absolutely, yeah. Champion of the Parish. Uh, it is a 1-1 one, one for one white that says, whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Champion of the Parish. So good. Yes. this In is a, a human's deck, obviously. Well, but... uh, totally, yeah. Uh, so this is a rare from uh, Innistrad, probably the best set in Magic. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of say. people would agree with that. Yeah. It's Maybe we'll do an episode on what people think is the best set in Magic. Yeah, Probably we could. Um, or what makes Innistrad the best. There are so many things. There's so many good things um, about it. It was great to draft. It was... So, getting off topic. Off topic. This was. This is in a lot of rogue modern builds. The human soldier mm. sort of uh, modern build. The white okay. humans, I guess, is what it is. Um, this is like the premium one drop for that deck. And granted, it's it. a rogue build. It's not a tier one deck by any means. Sure. But... Um, it's a very good card. It just gets yeah. big quickly. And that's the thing, is that it hits the board, and it is it is an okay one-drop. It's a 1-1 one, one for one. That's mm -hmm. you know, baseline of what you're going to get. And then as you get your deck rolling, it just gets better and better. Exactly. You know, it's solid. Um, and 1-1 one, one counters are great. There are some cards that let you play with them, let you move them around. Um, I think a Flicker Wisp, Flicker Wisp deck with Champion would work we'll well. That's today. your engine. Well, no, we're not. <laughs> we're gonna stumble we're 26 episodes in we're not gonna learn how to talk by this point um <laughs> no uh this is very cool and yeah, what i like about great. this is and this is just something in magic that i really appreciate is this adds value to every other human in your deck true if you look That's at it that way point. like yeah. it's easy to look at this card and think oh this is just a great card it just builds on itself well yeah but it also makes any of the humans you draw for the rest of the game that much better right um so if you're on turn three and you draw a two drop normally you'd be like ah, i wish i had a three drop but you're getting that plus one plus one counter in addition sure. to the two drop in a deck like for, uh, built around this sure maybe and so you just it added adds a three, three enough value to right. it to make it not feel quite so bad so it, I see what you're saying. it gives you a little bit more value which is just great yeah i mean it's solid to draft with yep. um goes in constructed stuff so i love uh, it yeah all around a good card. A good, great card. Good job, random magic cards. Good job. <laughs> That's one of our better ones. We usually don't get that. It is. Enough. I mean, we haven't had a ton of rares. No. Usually the rares are better. Yeah. Um, Spark Trooper was pretty good. That was a good one. Is that one that you forgot? I what? did. I, um, I thought he was uncommon, uh, but that would be stupid at uncommon. God. All right. Ooh. Moving off of the card of the day, um, I want to talk very quickly. Mm. Um, 
we were given a box if you're following us on instagram you will already know this probably on facebook and twitter and everything too because i believe it went to everything um yeah if you're following us on any of those sites you will notice that we posted we were given a box by grand slam huge thanks aether revolt First off they are awesome. doing so much to help us out yeah, and hopefully was... we're be- we're able to reciprocate in some way <laughs> um, we'll get there we'll get there but um, they have been very, very helpful in sponsoring oh, yeah. this show. The Cracker Packs at the end of every episode, that's something they've been sponsoring. Sponsor. But also this just random box. Mm-hmm. Um, and the goal was to do a box opening video. Yeah, and then Will got his hands on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it, so many things went wrong filming that. Uh, a lot of technical difficulties that <laughs> hopefully we resolve eventually. Um, it so resolves. That, uh, that it resolves eventually. <laughs> uh, it resolves, resolves. That's weird. Anyway, we'll get there. Tangents. To uh, box opening, pack, yes. open, pack openings and such. Um, but in lieu of that, we were, we were bummed it didn't work out. Yes. Um, in lieu of that, though, uh, we bunched up all these packs. Yep. We made basically two sealed decks, if you want to think of them that yep. way. Uh, and we played some games. We did. Just and for fun. Again, uh, because of the pack opening not really working out as best as it could have. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. This whole episode is gonna is sponsored now by Grand Slam. Uh, they much. provided all of the content for this yeah. based in that box. And so moving forward, just be aware. Grand Slam sponsored this. Go check them out. They're in the Rock Hill, South Carolina area. Charlotte, North Carolina is like 10 minutes away. So if yeah, you're in that area, just... Close. Down south, come down and see us. Um, Step on So, very very good store. Very very nice people. They do a lot of other content as well as Pokemon, comics, Yu Gi Oh, everything. Tons Um, of stuff. Uh, Cards and collectibles really Mm -hmm. is their is their niche. I think they've got sports cards too. They have a ton of sports cards. Um, I used to collect football cards, but really, yeah, back in the day. But uh, not anymore. I'm glad you stopped. Um, All right. So, (laughs) so as Will stated. (laughs) Uh, what we did, because the, the opening didn't work, is we right. basically split the box. We yep. each got half. Um, we opened those packs, uh, and we just made some decks out of them. Yeah. Um, and we sort of did this in two stages. The first one we'll talk about, and then we'll move into the second sure. and explain that one a bit better. But why don't you tell us what deck you came up with? So my deck in its first iteration was kind of a simple uh, Rakdos improvised aggro yep. sort of deal. Um, I pulled a bunch of ornithopters, other cheap artifacts. Did pull a lot of ornithopters. Yeah, there were a bunch. <laughs> um, and just some guys had improvise uh, that I threw in there. And it's I'm not going to talk in length about the first iteration. It was really simply um, get artifacts down, help them get your threats out, and sack the artifacts to make them better. Yep. And I think it did that pretty Ta-da. well. It was all right. Um, yeah. My deck was a blue-green sort of ramp uh, based around Improvise a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, I had the Inventor, which is the Hexproof Improvise. It's a 4-4 four, four for like yeah. 6, but you can cheat it out, uh, especially in the ramp deck. You get yeah, the ramp definitely. and the Improvise, so you can play it out very quickly. Yeah, I think um, I saw him like turn 3 a few games. Turn 3 or 4, I believe, yeah. was, was sort of the average. Um, so good. it worked out really well. I had a few decent value cards um, mm-hmm. along with some of the ramp cards and things like that. Yeah. Um, and I think my deck worked fairly well. Um, yes, I would say so. I think we talked about this afterwards. We sort of talked about, we, we always do this. We reflect a little bit right after the games and then we sort of come together when we do the episode and talk at length about it. But right afterwards, we sort of discussed, we think the power level of the first iteration was relatively close. Uh, yeah, probably more so Kevin's deck was a little better. Yeah, a little better. Um, we played three games. Yeah. I won two, you won one, um, right. which is fine. That's yeah, that's too. I have to say, know. the games, um, the second iteration was better, but the games even in the first iteration were pretty they were, solid games. Yeah, they were close. They weren't super one sided. No, I don't think. I'll say, um, excluding like, oh, I've I've got a handful of lands now. And well, to yeah, do. like excluding those, we both got flooded pretty badly yeah. at times. Yeah, um, that's true. that was really annoying. But that's my eyes that's just crazy. Bad. Don't like yourself winking at you. Please don't wink at me. It's creepy. Sorry. Um, they can see that now. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, I think the games, though, they went fairly well. <laughs> um, and we'll talk now. I think we'll, we're glossing over the, the intro sort of because the, the real fun came with the second iteration. And what yes. we did for this is I gave Will all of the red and the black cards that I opened. Thank you. 
and you provided me with all of the green and blue cards, yes. as well as multicolored cards that fit in that. True. Uh, yeah. And so <clears throat> we were able to then build decks out of that. So right. why don't you talk a little bit about yours? Sure. So my deck at that point got to change a little bit into uh, instead of Rakdos, Rakdos Aggro, it was more of a Rakdos Tempo sort of deck, uh, which I know is not really what Black and Red want to do together, <laughs> but I ended up doing it okay. Um, I was able to pull together some good removal packages, uh, two fatal push, uh, hungry and hungry flames, uh, and shock. I had a play set of shock, two hungry flames, two fatal push, uh, and then a bunch of guys with death touch, cheap guys. That was so annoying. Yeah, it was. That made it so difficult. <laughs> it was fun. It was aggravating. Um, yeah, I had uh, the real cheap aether poisoners make two energy one one for two that has death touch. Uh, and if you wanted to, you can create some colorless servos when he attacks for that energy. Um, I think I did that once. I realized it's not the best thing to do with that. Yeah. Uh, because with my tempo, so I get him, Gifted Aetherborn, a 2-3 with Death Touch and Life Link for two. Get those guys out early to kind of slow Kevin down, who ended up being able to speed up a lot faster. Yeah. Uh, to get things out like Scrapper Champion, um, the 2-2 two, two for four with Double Strike, uh, and you can pay two energy to give him plus one plus one counters, which is crazy good uh, with double strike, uh, and that's that's awesome. Um, my deck kind of its card advantage engine was Glint Sleeve Siphoner. It's hard to say. Glint Sleeve Siphoner. Yes, yes that yes, is yes, yes. That's not fun to say. So yeah, <laughs> so I just had this. I had this energy. I didn't really know what to do with, um, but the Siphoner, uh, I ended up cashing in a bunch to get some cards that really kept me in the game that actually helped you a tremendous oh, amount if i um, hadn't had card draw in mm, that respect i don't think i would have been yeah. as successful that was a fantastic card for you yeah, deck, it's for great sure. um so when it enters the battlefield or attacks you get one energy pay two and a life and you can draw a card uh at the beginning of your upkeep yes right? let yeah. be known um so you can like pull three cards at the beginning of your turn it's sweet uh but the deck's win con was a dragon your wing cons are so good in this time. They were solid. Free Jam <laughs> Regent is the big one. So good. Uh, it is a 4-4 four, four for 6 with Improvise, uh, and you can pay one red, one colorless to pump it for 2 and 0, plus 2, plus 0. Oh. That's uh, insane. Yeah, that's really strong. I mean, it's right? your typical fire-breathing effect, but it's just so good in this yeah. environment, right? Definitely. Like, like, and constructed. Yeah, we know they're limited bombs. Yeah. And if you think of Sealed as limited, which I guess it you is. should. So. It is. Yeah. It's great. Although this was a bigger draft pool or sealed pool. Yes, than you say to. that. Six uh, versus like 18 packs or something. <laughs> yeah, it was, these are, you won't ever make decks like this in no. real draft. If you do, good Lord. Yeah, good for you. The luck of the Irish, um, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I was also fortunate enough to pull Walking Ballista, which <sighs> so we've jealous. talked about it at length. Yeah. It's probably the best card in Aether Revolt. Yeah. Um, it it's being played pretty much everywhere except for vintage. Mm -hmm. um, it, uh, actually, I think it might be. I think it is in vintage. Ooh. I might be wrong. Really? I think it is. Huh. Um, I know there's a combo with it, and I I'm fairly certain it's in legacy, and I believe it's also in vintage. I know there's one in legacy that's it's the wincon. Yeah. Um, but I wasn't sure about vintage. Could I can't remember the deck. Regardless, so. it's just so good. Oh, food chain. Pick legacy up. food chain. Yeah. Duh. We talked. Yeah, about it. we did talk about that. Watch our past episode. Uh, we forgot about it. <laughs> it's 25 down, so yeah, it so makes sense. <laughs> um, but it just gets me out of so many problems. Mm -hmm. um, it gives me a little bit of reach. Uh, with my shock and hungry flames, I had reach already. Walking Ballista just helped me poke over. Oh, yeah. Great and it card. did a very good job of that. I'll say so. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Uh, I Tempo deck. It was like a tempo. Like a lot of your creatures, again, you focused a lot on death touch. Yeah, but you also had things like menace, roll, double strike, things mm -hmm. like that. A lot of just good value keywords on right. a lot of your creatures, which made it very yeah. tough to swing in for me. Yes, making damage, er, which is making... a problem in ramp. True. <laughs> I'll say you trample helps. <laughs> trample we'll helps, that. and we'll get into um, that. Yeah, but, but yeah. making combat less profitable uh, yeah. for a deck with big stompy creatures is a is a thought tempo needs. So yeah. I try to do that. Yeah. Kevin, what you got going over? All there. right, so again, taking all of the blue and green cards that Will provided, uh, I was able to focus my strategy a bit. Mm -hmm. um, I had one of the best card draw engines God, of any yeah. limited style deck that I think I've ever had. Um, it's great, yeah. 
I'll start with some of the creatures. Um, the the ramp creature, the one, three, four, two. Good lord, I didn't even pull this. Oh, up. the elf guy. Oh my gosh, I, I'm failing. I'm failing. Druid of the cow. Relax. There we go. The mana dork. <laughs> um, the mana dork. Uh, it's a one, three, four, two. Tap it. Add green to your mana pool. Yeah. Um, standard ramp. I had three of those. Um, in addition, I had the one drop renegade. Uh, which is a one-two with the death touch. Yes. Um, and if I can trigger revolt, it gets a one-one counter. And you'll notice there's a theme. One-one counters are the theme. <laughs> yeah. Um, along with the ramp. Uh, and revolt. So and revolt. And to trigger the revolt, um, I had two sort of key cards for this. Uh, part of which enabled my card draw engine. Um, unbridled growth. Uh, normally not a very good card in this deck. It was fantastic. Yeah. It's um, much better with revolt. It was it's... so good. Uh, it was able to replace itself, enable revolt, and it was just a solid turn one drop. Yeah. It's solid turn one play. It worked out quite well. Um, I also had implement of ferocity, another one drop, uh, sacrifice it, put a one one counter on a creature, and then also draw a card. So enabling revolt again. Right. Um, it worked quite well. Um, some value creatures. I did have two of the Rogue Refiners. Um, Quality. Such a good card. Yeah. Uh, again, card draw, you get a little bit of energy. My deck actually didn't do anything with the energy. My original iteration right. did, uh, <clears throat> but I took some of those cards out uh, to make this iteration. Um, so didn't have all that much there. Uh, I also, as sort of one of the top end cards, well, two of them we'll, we'll go over. Um, Untethered Express. A 4-4 four, four for 4 with Trample, yeah. Crew 1, which I'm able to trigger with the Druids, with yeah. the with the Renegades. Um, and it, whenever it attacks, I get a 1-1 one, one counter. Again, sticking with the theme. The Trample became key, getting around some yes. of your Death Touch, uh, poking in for a little bit of damage. Um, I also had two Ridge Scale Tuskers, uh, which is a 5-5 five, five for 5. And when it enters the battlefield, you put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other creature I control. Yeah, um, so odd. again, spreading out those counters... And a card that I would have liked to have had a few more of, but did not, was Skyship Plunder. Uh, it's a 2-1 for 2 with flying, and whenever it deals damage to oh, a player, mean. you get to pick a permanent and oh, add mean. another counter of whatever kind. I fatally That being plus him. 1 plus 1 counters. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> as soon as I saw it him. It was so annoying when you did. Um, He's, it's too good in yeah, this deck. In this deck, it, it, it was an all-star. Um, yeah. It was really, really fantastic. Um, and then sort of the key card, the engine for this deck was Life Crafter's Bestiary. Uh, a three drop artifact, I get to scry one at every upkeep. And whenever I cast a creature spell, which is most of the time, I can yeah. pay an extra green and then draw a card. Uh, so I was, be I was able to sort of chain these spells and get tons of stuff out fairly mm -hmm. quickly, especially in the later turns of the yeah. game, um, which we got to the later turns most of the <laughs> definitely, time. Definitely, definitely did. Um, as far as removal slash sort of tempo plays, uh, I only ran two like pseudo removal spells, which were True. ice over. Um, they came in handy when I drew them. They were. Yes, I, they I should have did. probably put a few extra in there. Um, I think that might have been a, a little bit of an oversight on my end, but it did help tremendously. Um, a very very good card, a two drop art of or enchantment. Keep something tapped down. Yeah, it's perfect. Remove it from being effective at all, unless exactly. it's got an activated ability or something. Yeah, but absolutely. Still, still. But thankfully, most of your stuff did not have that much true. of an activated ability. So this is true. Um, I also had a one of Baral's expertise. Um, this there was one play in particular, I believe, where I got to play this, bounce three of your spells, three of your creatures. Yes. Play the bestiary, I believe. I think it might have been. I think it might have been. And then I was able to play another creature and draw a card. Mm -hmm. It was just such a good like swing in my favor. I don't know if yeah. I won that game or not, but it was a swing in my favor. I think you might have been. Um, uh, you bounced but, Ornithopters and the Dragon. Yeah, and Ornithopters is like a terrible thing to bounce. But at that point, but still, I just wanted to get something out of it. cleared my board. Like my yeah. board was gone. It gave me a solid attack because yes. I, I was looking yes. to attack that turn. Um, you did effectively. So that's a great card, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Um, I got very close to decking myself twice. That is true. Uh, with the bestiary, it was very easy to do that, along with all of the unbridled yeah. gross things like that. Yeah. Um, the card draw was just fantastic. Though. Yeah. It felt so good. <laughs> it was. It's great because the deck lets you play your hand most times mm -hmm. and then fill your hand again. Oh yeah, which is good. Yeah, but yes, he was close to decking himself. It was. A it bit. was awesome. Yeah, it was um, fun. But it was fun. very, very solid games. These were so much closer. I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, they were. They went on for a while too. Yeah, I really had to pull it. There was at one point that had I not attacked the turn I did, I might not have won the I next rem- turn. Yeah, you almost didn't. Yeah, you were worried about ice over. I was. Uh, if he was holding ice over, you would have lost. Yes, like I had my dragon down. out. Yeah, because I was at fourteen or mm-hmm. like seven something. No, I was at fourteen that turn. Had the dragon. Decided yeah. to swing in and pump for all to get him to like. You got me like three or yeah. two or something. Le- I was in lethal. Oh yeah. Next turn, but if he had ice over, I was done. So I just I wagered. I remembered in it resolves episode something. Said make him have it. Make him have. Make it. him have the answer. That was your point too. That was a and good I point. Made him have the answer. And I didn't have it. Um, it turned out I just believe this- I won one game and yes. you won two. Yeah. Uh, so overall, a fairly even night By for us. By the hair of my chinny chin chin. It was. I mean, seriously, we were both a turn away from God, winning. It was. I mean, it really was, close. It was good. Such good games. Good games. Those um, are the kinds of games you want to see in Magic, yeah, right? Totally. Um, uh, but yeah. So takeaways for me, when we originally opened these packs and started deck building, I thought these cards would be kind of terrible. I I just wasn't like yeah. sold on them. Um, after playing it though. If you haven't played much of Aether Revolt, I would I would highly recommend it. It was really fun for me. I'll say this. There have been a lot of complaints about Aether Revolt in a yeah. draft sense, in a limited sense, and those are, I will say, very warranted. Those are very valid, for um, sure. The, the set itself doesn't have a ton of value outside of a few cards, um, so it doesn't feel as good opening it. Uh, and when you draft just three packs, like you don't see much of... You know, you, you don't get it's a lot a build of build around things set, right? Like right. you have to have the card pool to build around mm-hmm. what you want to do. If you do have the card pool, as in this instance, we had half of a box to do mm-hmm. it. We were able to to pull our strategies together right. to the point where I think they work pretty well. Yeah, and that's pretty. But fun. again, you're right. In a draft setting, I don't think this is the best draft. No, format. it's not the strongest set. Though. No, um, no. And and people complain about having like two Aether Revolt and a Kaladesh pack in a draft. Yeah, weird stuff like that. Totally understand. Yeah. Um, That's no longer a problem anymore. What? We'll get to that tomorrow. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, it, it was really fun when we yeah. played. Yeah. Uh, I don't like drafting Aether Revolt, but no, same. I I hundred percent agree. I think a, if you're looking to draft, go to like Amonkhet or something. Yeah, Amonkhet's pretty Amonkhet's fun a draft. pretty good set to draft. Yeah. I think it's not perfect, but it's a good set. No, and it's kind of getting a little stale now. But we, we yeah, have but we've drafted a, lot. It a good set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we have a lot um but yeah so fun to do if you've yeah. got one friend and a lot of packs go yeah. do it otherwise speaking, don't draft it um, speaking of packs good segue i didn't even plan that Thank um you. so we opened these didn't look at them ahead of time no let it be known so we don't know what's in here uh we usually do something like uh i'll look at his ray he'll look at mine we didn't do that this time this is no. completely off the cuff uh again sponsored by grand slam huge thank you so here's a question. Yeah. Do you want to switch packs or do you want to keep the same pack? Oh, man. This saw, is a really important... I saw that Mythbusters episode where they were like, switch it and you're more likely to win with the door thing. Do you think? Do you want to switch or do you want to hold it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. Okay. We're switching. We're doing it live. Uh, we'll uh, see who gets the better rare. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So we're, uh, we'll just go through it. Yeah. Go right we'll ahead. Just let you go first. Um, we do also have gold cards by the way which we definitely didn't mention um (laughs) mine's getting into the trials Um, mine is combat celebrant which i did not get um i'll actually show you yeah i didn't get mine either he's a kitty um Um, but i did win yeah i peaked (laughs) i peaked definitely are you are you telling me cat tribal is not stronger than anything bantu can make uh as we stated in a previous episode no, cat travel is terrible, right? Well, actually, it's not terrible. Um, but it's not. It's going to get better with our devastation. True. Um, There's another kitty, though. We, uh, we have talked about this before. In a draft setting, always take the gods. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's just no reason not to. The only one no. that I feel like isn't quite as good in a draft setting is, uh, I can't think of the name, the blue god. Is it Karametra? Is that the name? Am I thinking of another one? Um, That's anyway. not a god. It's... um. Bam, he's a crane and he flies and he draws. He draws stuff. Anyway, I don't his name. <laughs> he's not. He's not bad. I'm, I, I don't right. want to like 
get that mixed up. It's just that I don't think he's on the same power level in a draft well, yeah. format as hit, some of the others. He doesn't um, hit the board and instantly make your no. opponent A Ketra, for instance, is just like insane. Yeah. Um, she is great. You just kind of auto win <laughs> with a Ketra. She's a kitty. Um, so, all right. What what would you pick out of your pack? It's the Caracol, for it's, sure. Okay. Uh, other cats you control get plus one, plus one, and have lifelink. When Regal Caracol enters the battlefield, create two one one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. Whew! We're talking about when it hits the board, it creates three bodies itself mm-hmm. and two others. Those are two twos with lifelink. For five. That's pretty great. I feel um, good about that. It's a good solid bomb. Yeah. Uh, in any white deck. Yeah. And I feel good about just, it. If you do have cats. <laughs> And there, there are one-drop cats. <laughs> There's one-drop lifelink um, cats. And I, I pulled a Watchers of the Dead as well, which will probably wheel. Mm-hmm. Um, that's It's a 2-2 two, two for 2, exile Watchers of the Dead. Each opponent chooses two cards in his, in his or her graveyard and exiles the rest. Solid. That ability isn't great for me, I don't think. it's It, it wouldn't be great in other sets. In Amonkhet, it's kind of better. Maybe so, but it just I don't feel like it does too much. Well, it's not awesome, but... In a cat tribal... Yeah, I mean, I guess take it, but... <laughs> but with um, my bum. Uh, so yeah. my obvious pick is Bantu. Uh, there's no reason not to take him. Um, two other cards, though, that I do want to note that are very good um, and would not wheel, but you'd hope they would. <laughs> no. um, Electrify, it's just a great burn spell. Uh, it it takes care of a lot of the creatures in the yeah, set. Yeah, pretty much every set needs the four damage for four yeah. Yeah. In, in limited. It's... And it's Never perfect. Bad. Um, Never bad. I also have Baleful Amet, which is a 4 3 for 3 with lifelink. And when it enters the battlefield, it get, uh put a minus 1 minus 1 counter on target creature you control. Really you good. You can get some synergies with the minus 1 minus 1 counter, but at worst, it's a 3 2 lifelinker for 3. Seems great. Yeah, like, that's, that's fine. Um, it buys you time, and it's just a solid body if you've got something else to ditch the counter yeah. on or something. It's fantastic. Your um, life being precious in limited, mm-hmm. lifelink is much stronger in the limited. Oh, yeah. format yeah uh, so anytime you see it, it's really yeah it's probably a good thing. so cool again thank you to grand slam for sponsoring basically this entire episode yeah, uh we, appreciate we greatly appreciate it yeah. they've been a big help we encourage you guys to go check them out um as we do as we with do. all of the main episode stuff out of the way we did mention at the top of the episode we're going to be doing some updates about our channel right about our content um, we've got a lot of updates just to run through uh, fairly quickly. We'll try and get through them somewhat yeah, quickly. This is going to be a little bit longer episode, we yes, realize. Yes. But if you've stuck with us this far, thank you. You're you're the all-stars. So, you would MVP. Um, let's just jump in. Sure. Um, we're going to, again, talk about updates to the channel, updates to some of our content, things like that. Sure. Um, and to start us off, we want to get the community involved. Um, that's something that, because we are just starting out, we feel like we haven't been able to do. Um, but thanks to our Instagram and some help with uh, the YouTube and things like that, we've been able to reach more people. Yeah. Um, and we want you guys to help us make this content. We want it to be about you guys and about um, stuff that you feel is interesting. Yeah, us together. Us really. together. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we've experimented a little bit with boosting posts, seeing mm-hmm. if we can reach new audiences. <laughs> um, we've done some things where we've asked you questions yep. is a good way to start this and yes. segue. Um, but anytime we can hear your voice <coughs> is, is good. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, so with that in mind, we're th- we are going to start posing, posing, positive, posting, posting. We're going to give you questions of the week, <laughs> ask you questions of the week. And this will be every Monday. Right. Uh, the top of the week, every yep. Monday. Um, with, uh, so the idea for this is we'd like to post a question to you guys. Uh, as an example, we just posted uh, at, at the beginning of this week on Monday, what's the best planeswalker? Yeah. Um, and I'm not going to spoil it. Everybody should know the answer, but I'm not going to spoil it. Tybalt. Tybalt, <coughs> clearly. Tybalt won. Um, we, on, tu- on Tuesday morning, we picked, uh, we looked through the comments, tallied them up. Whoever mm-hmm. had the most was the winner. We also right. tag all of those who voted for that one uh, in the follow-up post the winning post and so um not gonna spoil it go check out the instagram or anything like that you'll see it congrats yeah congrats to you um so we'd like to keep this going we want to hear what you guys have to say about stuff so we may have questions like what's the best cantrip spell best doll spell what's the best one drop creature Uh, things like that who's your favorite god from theros why do you hate theros whatever it is (laughs) like whatever it is true um so we'll we'll post these questions uh, again at the top of the week on monday right. probably monday morning 
on Tuesday morning. We'll figure out, we'll tally it up who's the winning uh, post, and then mm-hmm. we'll post out the winners. Sure. We'll probably talk about these on our Thursday episodes from here on out. Mm-hmm. Um, so just something to think about. We hope that that gets you all involved a little bit more yeah. and gives you some incentive to, to be a part of the It Resolves community. And hear, a little bit. hear what we have to say, <laughs> yeah. hear who won, all that stuff, all that yep. fun stuff. Um, so with the thought of bringing questions to you, uh, Kevin, uh, what else do we want to do? So um, as hopefully a lot of you know, uh, on Monday's episode, uh, we do deck techs. Um, we cycle Everyone through these deck techs. Deck techs. Uh, it's usually modern, legacy, vintage, and then we start it over. Right. Uh, standard stuff we leave for Friday. Uh, but again, yeah. we will be probably tagging in standard with this. Yeah. We want to know what decks you want to hear about. And our thought process on this is normally we each split off, pick a deck, and then mm-hmm. talk about it. Um, instead, what we'd like to do is we'll have one that we pick together and one that you, the community, gets to pick. The community deck. So the community deck and then our deck. And so basically we're going to be asking you guys occasionally, what deck? what's your favorite modern deck? What's your favorite legacy deck? Um, what have you. Yeah. Whatever gets the most, we'll talk about. If it's something we've already talked about, we'll go with the second best and so cetera, on and so cetera, forth. Yeah. Um, but that way you guys get to to sort of dictate a little bit mm-hmm. what content you actually want to see. Yeah, and maybe even see a different iteration of that deck. Absolutely. As there are varieties. There's always variants. Flavor um, for the season. Yeah. For the format. <laughs> well said. Yes. Um, so, again, just another way that we want you guys to be involved with yeah. the It Resolves channel. Um, this our, our goal for this is to make it a community thing. Yes. So, uh, right. And we'll talk more about that at the end. But. Right, right, right. Um, so... <clears throat> With that in mind as well, we also talked about diversifying some of our content, um, having it go to different places. Mm -hmm. Uh, One thought we had behind this uh, is to not shove everything (laughs) on everything all at once so that if you, by chance, are subscribed on YouTube, you like us on Facebook and on Twitter and on Instagram, you don't get everything four (laughs) times, right? So we've got... uh, two streamers now we do which we'll tally on at the end of this that's yeah. really cool um but we've got these videos <laughs> going to youtube we've got the podcast going to the podcast and it, the content is the same but now you can see us ah! yeah uh, <laughs> but it's a little different in that respect um we always kind of post content about the episodes on instagram that won't change um we'll start adding those to facebook as well mm-hmm. um and then some of the streams obviously catch them live on twitch uh, and then we will pull some of those streams to YouTube as well. Yep. If you miss them by chance. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we've actually already started doing that. Uh, yeah. Again, I we can go ahead and mention our two streamers. Let's I think. Do it. Let's go ahead while Let's we're on the topic. Um, if you've heard us talk in the past few episodes, we've been talking about getting a new streamer. Mm-hmm. Parks, a good friend of ours, yeah, <laughs> has buddy. recently gotten up on our Twitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's actually the the first one to probably successfully stream. <laughs> Yes. With our Twitch officially, uh, sure. we have a video of his over on our YouTube now, so you can go check him out, hang out with him. Uh, again, he'll be on Twitch sort of right. intermittently during the week. Mm-hmm. Hang out with him there. Go chat with him. If you want to follow us on Twitch, we'd we'd absolutely love to have you. Yeah, he's a fun guy. Um, we also have a good friend. Yeah. Uh, Alex. Alex. Who is a very, very solid Magic player from from what I gather. Yeah, um, I think he's good. I think he's pretty good. And so I'm excited to see some of his content, actually. Yeah. Uh, um, both so of them I'm really excited about. So. I don't know if he has streamed yet, but he <laughs> should be very soon. He should be this uh, by the time this episode goes out, hopefully. Probably. Uh, if not, very soon after. Probably. Uh, so you will see him and Parks uh, both up there streaming some content and then some of that content moving over to YouTube. Yes. Uh, again, just diversifying it, getting it in different places. And giving you some incentive to check out the YouTube other than mm-hmm. just seeing us, which you can now. <laughs> right, right, um, right. Um, fun stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so that was, bah, bah. let's talk about some of the giveaways, Kev. All right. So here's this the deal. This is exciting. Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff with the giveaways. Um, if you have been keeping up on any of our social media sites, especially Instagram, uh, you will know that over the past week, uh, in fact, as of yesterday, yeah, uh, we picked winners for our giveaway, um, and we posted. We were we were finally reaching our 300 follower goal, and so we decided to do a 300 follower giveaway where we picked three cards and three winners yeah. and sent those cards out to those people. Um, again, we're not going to say who they are because right. they may or may not have been picked yet. 
Um, <laughs> we're recording a little early. Um, <laughs> yeah, true. But uh, so that that's just the first iteration of our right. giveaways. But right, what right, we'd right. like to do from here on out is sort of have a separate model for different things. Um, an Instagram, solely Instagram giveaway mm-hmm. where, you know, if you like or share and follow, you are entered to win. Right. Facebook, if you follow the page and share it, same stuff. Just to, to get some involvement on mm-hmm. each of our individual social media accounts, get you guys involved with that. Um, on top of that, um, probably once a month about is I think what we're, we're shooting for. Yes. What we'd like to do is sort of take all of the culmination of all those social media things and do a giveaway to push you all to YouTube. Um, because again, that's sort of our primary place. That's our yeah. hub of a lot of our content. You'll see that's the first place we were. You'll mm-hmm. see most of our content on YouTube. Yes. Um, but let it be known with all this stuff, you you have the option to consume as much of it resolves as you'd like, right? So on Instagram, you can get card of the day, all mm-hmm. the awesome pictures we post, all that stuff. Uh, <laughs> on Facebook, you can get some of the updates there, um, some of the episodes, if I ever do that. Uh, That's on you. <laughs> I know. Uh, on Twitter, you can get some fun, uh, us poking fun at the community a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we mess with some of the pros comments. A, yes. A bunch. Um, but and you, don't so, ha- you don't have to take in all of it like This we were is saying. completely up to you. But right. if you do want to take part in those giveaways, we would absolutely love to have you. Um, again, we'll, these will be on a sort of giveaway by giveaway basis. Sure. Um, we'll post about them. So if you're following us anywhere, you will see them. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can take part in whatever you'd feel like you'd, yeah, yeah. you'd enjoy. Um, in addition, we mentioned Grand Slam a lot this episode. Oh, yeah. Um, We've been uh, in cahoots with them a little bit on doing some giveaways, uh, hopefully promoting both Grand Slam and us. Yeah. Um, We'd like to do what we can to give back to them. Uh, They've done a lot for us as far as box openings and cracker packs, things like that. And so our way of handling that is hopefully giving them some more Mm. some more advertising, a little bit Mm -hmm. more of a uh, of a grouping that can go enjoy Grand Slam their store. Great, great place. Um, great place. Uh, no, it is a very fun place, and so we'd like to do some giveaways in tandem with them uh, to to boost their their following as well. Sure. Um, in addition, sticking on the giveaways, yeah, we've got a lot of giveaway stuff. Um, we mentioned the Patreon at the top of the episode. Yeah. What we would like to do um, once we have sort of a following on there, what we'd like to do is say, "Hey, here's some Patreon only content. Here's a Patreon only giveaway." Just to give back because those are the people who are donating to us yeah. and we feel like we owe them a little bit in terms of Definitely. you know yeah. giving them the best that we can do. We'll do a little um, bit extra for them. You absolutely. Know, Patreons um, for your uh, really, really fun stuff, extra cool stuff. Yeah. Um, so we've been mulling over some ideas there mm-hmm. uh, at what number we want to start doing that. So we're not, no, we, we don't have anything solid that What we'd that like to yet. do, what we'd uh, like to see, I think, is... Again, we've recently set up the Patreon. As yeah. the as of the recording of this video, we have no donations on there, no. and that's okay. We're not. That's yeah, not that's a, a say. Hey, go donate. Relax. But Everybody what we'd like relax. to do is, if we get between five and ten people somewhere in that range, I think what we'd like to do is start doing content just for those people. Yeah. And then definitely. probably do a giveaway right off the bat if we can get between that mm-hmm. five to ten that five to ten range. So, and that's at any tier level. It uh, doesn't matter if you're donating the dollar tier or the ten dollar tier. Everybody would get that yeah, and get that option. Mm-hmm. Um, so just food for thought. Again, if you feel like you can donate and you want to donate, we'd absolutely appreciate it, and we hope that we can give back to you. Yes. So. All right. So Kevin. Yeah, that's a lot. I know. Ah, uh, there's one more thing, buddy. Yeah. Kevin, talk to the people from okay. your from your heart from my heart heart box. Gotta dig down deep. I don't know where it is most of the time. Yeah, you. I don't know that you have one. Um, <laughs> um, where do we see it resolves going, man? Here's Talk the deal, guys. That. Okay. Um, hey. 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 Yeah. We've worked really hard on this. Um, yeah. We've put a lot of effort into this, and we hope that you guys enjoy it. And what we'd like to do, as we sort of already talked about uh, mm-hmm. in the beginning of these these little updates, we want this to be community driven as well as driven by us. We right. want this to be a shared endeavor. Uh, that you guys feel like you're taking a part in. Um, we want to make content that you want to hear and also that we enjoy. And yeah. so to do that, that's where we're getting these questions of the day from, our questions of the week, deck suggestions, things like that. We want you guys to tell us what you want to hear yeah. and what you want to see. And so 
ideally what we'd like to see in the future after we're 25 episodes in this is our 26th mm -hmm. uh we'll probably do an update every 25 to 50 episodes somewhere we'll in that see. range yeah yeah uh depending on where we're at at that point but we'd really like to see this be a community not just us talking at you right um, so magic as i guess an entity has it's in a weird spot uh with this standard season being so rocky for mm -hmm. everybody um wizards kind of feels like a lot of people are running for magic i feel like and so, I think so they're doing a lot of damage control both on what they've already put out mm -hmm. and then the things they do to fix that yeah right and so, you can tell that with standard bannings yeah. things like that um, we'll talk about that tomorrow. talk about that tomorrow but, uh, <laughs> but absolutely um so this was a way for us to meet new people mm -hmm. keep each other connected with the game um keep us connected with the game mm -hmm. Um, and really just kind of quell some of the yeah the unease. Uh, we want this to be basically a place where you can come talk about your opinions of the game, yeah. not feel like you're being judged on those opinions because yeah. everybody has their individual opinions, and that's part of what makes the Magic community such a great community is that totally. there's a culmination of all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And so by giving, hopefully, you guys a voice in the It Resolves podcast, we'd like to, to sort of relieve some of that, make it yes. a little... A little more fun and a little less of, I, I guess, a troubled issue. Sure. Uh, which it sure, can sure. be sometimes, no doubt about that. <laughs> um, but that's the goal. That's yeah. just our overarching goal for moving forward at this mm -hmm. point. We hope that you guys will take part in this. Um, again, we, we love doing this. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Um, and it's grown content. fairly quickly for us. Uh, yeah. We started, I believe, month, month and a half ago. Uh, we're now 25 episodes in. This is our 26th. And going fairly strong yeah um, it's been thanks neat. to all of you guys we've we've yes. gotten a small following we we hope it will grow uh we appreciate it. but that's you up all. to you guys so make that happen <laughs> <laughs> but uh i think that's it yeah that's who it was a little long but i think we got through it i need some water <laughs> yes. all right guys so we really appreciate you thank guys you, we you. really appreciate grand slam uh thank you guys again and uh, I think that's it. Yeah, guys, we will see you tomorrow. My name is Will. My name's Kevin. This has been It Resolves.